Hey everyone, uh, we've been working on a new game that we're really excited about, and so I wanted to give you a quick preview. This is Cellulose, a plant cell biology game, and it's a sibling game to Cytosis, a cell biology game. Whereas Cytosis takes place inside of an animal cell, a Cellulose takes place inside of a plant cell. And so there's three things really that are gonna um, be the three features that differentiate a plant cell from a, an animal cell, and that's the central vacuole here, the chloroplast, which allow you to perform photosynthesis, and and then the cell wall, which players will be building throughout the game. So I'll give you a real quick run through of what's gonna happen. You have a number of flasks and you're gonna place one in any of the areas on the board and you're gonna activate that organelle. Um, now some of them will give you resources and some of them actions. So as an example up here in the xylem, that's gonna allow me to collect water, as many as you see here. Right now it's on the five spot, I'll collect five water and then I'll move that down. Now I can't place there again because there can't be two of the same color in these big um, octagon rectangular shaped things. But a spot like this, that allows me to collect six CO2 that also moves this water track down. Um, because basically your stomata is opening up and releasing um, water out as it's absorbing the CO2 in. Uh, at some point you have no more water left that, that you can take. Um, so, so you are out of uh, water in, in the game for that round and it will reset the next round. So taking the water, what do you do with that? Or uh, real quick, one really fun thing up here in the xylem. When you place here, not only do you take that water, but you decide if you want to place some of that water into the central vacuole. And what's happening here, I love. There's this, uh, an area majority ha that happens at the end of the round and the player with the most water, that's gonna be removed from the central vacuole. And that player will move up on this track and score a higher amount of points. Um, and then also gets a gray flask to increase the power of their, their next turn. So now collecting that water in CO2, you can perform photosynthesis here and collect a, a carbohydrate. And with that carbohydrate, you can do um, kind of one of three things. You can spend it right away by going over here to the cell wall and placing that carbohydrate that you've created onto the cell wall, um, um, making it longer or building it out. You'll score the number of points at the bottom and you'll also place one water into your uh, central vacuole spot up here to help you with the majority the next round. Um, or you could come over here and you could perform cellular respiration in the mitochondria, trading your carbohydrate here for a uh, six ATP. Now ATP is like currency, it allows you to do a lot of things, um, but mainly to um, spend on building these cards, which I'll cover in just a second. A couple other things, you can come up here into the ribosome and get proteins. This says DNA, but really that, that will say mRNA translation. So you can get proteins or you can come over here to get hormones. Now the hormones, this is really fun. Um, well, first, I love the shape of these. It's like a, um, a hexagon stapled to a pentagon. That's what Steve says. Um, and you can spend these uh, here. You secrete the hormones in order to move up in this track um, on, on the top side is your leaves. And that's gonna allow you to get carbon dioxide at the beginning of each round. And the bottom side are your roots and that's gonna allow you to move up in water that you're gonna collect each round. At the beginning of the round, it's like income. Now, some of the spots also allow you to place some water in the central vacuole, or they allow you to collect um, proteins each round. Or over here, you'll see this actually allows you to perform photosynthesis each round for free. So moving up this track is a um, really fun engine buildy thing that you can do. Now some of the cards, um, real quick, some of them allow you to just play um, carbohydrates to score a lot of points, or some of them allow you to spend resources and then pull a flask back off of the board. Um, some of them, like these, will just score you points at the end of the game. Um, and others, like these enzymes, these are really fun. Whenever you play an enzyme, you can also spend proteins to activate previous enzymes that you've built. So this card right here, if I played it, would give me one free card off the top of the deck. And then I could um, activate both of these enzymes to perform this action again and build up my plant and perform photosynthesis now. So these are really fun um, engine building cards. But that is basically it. You'll see some of the components here, these custom shaped things that we're really excited about. These are all 3D printed by Steve. Um, and we're still getting quotes for prices and things like that, but this would represent six water where that's one water and six CO2 versus one CO2. And then we really want the carbohydrates to be these, these, um, heck, these squished hexagonal shapes, which I think there's an actual name for that, but I don't remember what it is, um, because it, it looks a lot like you know a glucose molecule. So anyway, that is cellulose. 
Um, we are really excited about it. It is coming to Kickstarter on April 13th. If you have any questions, please feel to leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, we're excited. Come, um, come check out the Kickstarter April 13th. Thanks a lot.